go ahead and get right into it. We'll see, uh, can we not draft 500 rares this time and actually come up with a good deck? Oh man, and we got a nasty rare right here. Um, definitely a bomb level card, right? Four cost, four, three flyer with overwhelm and contract two to hopefully snipe a unit with flying. So this is perfect. Um, you guys know I always take the rare in a pack. This is actually a rare that we really want to play. So we're going to snap up Huru Sentry right away. And we're going to strongly try to play Justice in Time. Um, as I just said, I take the rare, so we're going to take it. Now, if this wasn't in the pack, what would we grab? <clears throat> card um maybe uh, uh maybe call the hit i know that's not in either of our factions i was just saying but it's probably the best card in the pack find the moments also decent but just not we can get a combat trick but or take the rare move on okay so, really good, but expensive uh, flyer here. Storm Blast. Why does it look like... <laughs> Looks like it's premium, just from the particle effects from the store. Lusser's Choice, pretty good here. Thudrux Ruse, Soul Feast, a lot of Shadow we're seeing. But, once again, I want to try to play uh, Huru Sentry. And Stormblast is a great card, so I think we're going to snap up that over a Thudrux Ruse or a Soul Feast. I don't know why the audio just got so loud for me. <laughs> okay. pack here um, maybe just stick with the left right pathfinder this is something we could even play if we just splashed for it I'm, I'm not sure it's really that good enough but if we get a couple time inscribed cards so the revol revolver we could speculate on that finding a few, uh, what do you call it, hero cards. That actually could be decent enough. Yeah, why don't we speculate on get, getting some hero synergy going. Oof. Eavesdrop, probably the card I like the best out of this pack. Once again, oh man, I'm seeing a lot of time cards. So I guess at this point, give your cottage. Maybe just a, a vow of silence to potentially help splash any time cards. Okay, we'll take the prize fighter now. all the way for now. Shift Stone Sniper and Ice Over. Just make sure we get enough inscribed cards. Oof. Okay. I guess a Lost in Thought for the same reason. A Frostback Sprite, that's pretty late. Ugh, keep your distance. Just a really bad combat trick. Oh, I guess the only version of the card I have is a premium version. Uh, well, unfortunately, not gonna pass the legendary. Not much to talk about there. Okay, give a, give two things life steal. Fine. 
Serpent Trainer, probably the best card in the pack. Dispel isn't bad. A Silence that can also, that just replaces itself. I really don't think Life Steal is too amazing. Okay, this stupid rare. Over. Wow, we really aren't even losing anything. Oh, baby. Okay. A silence, and if it has flying, kill it. And a gnashing displacer, also a very good card, but I like grabbing that. Ooh, pretty weak. Pretty weak, but um, solid removal for five cost. Oh boy. Is there any chance we play Cloud Snake Hatchling? No. Oh, we're seeing time, but it's like not even good time cards. I guess we take Amber Lock. Okay, overthrow. We got some removal there. Let's go. Oh boy. Forty-three. <laughs> oh, okay, you have a million of all of these. Okay, random bring down, sure. Okay, I'll take that. Another rare in our uh, faction here. A cut ties, pretty good. What, what's this guy? Give one of your units plus one plus one. If it's wielding a weapon, it gets Aegis. Fine, we're gonna slam Silver Wing Commander. So we really need to get some uh, solid units here. We need to build out our curve, pay attention to that. Uncommons are the best cards in the pack, but nothing we really have access to. Rowhammer would be nice, but probably not worth splashing. I don't want to get another four cost guy. Oh man, the one one's pretty weak. So rolling fog evens out our curve a little bit. Endurance life steal. The shield bearer hasn't been awful for me, actually. So you want this guy who we could potentially suit up with a weapon or the shield bearer. I think he's actually decent. Each of your units holding a weapon, not bad. Just a, a hefty five drop. Like I said, we could even splash that guy too. Mm. Let's, uh, for curve reasons, right, we're trying to build a healthy range of costed units, so we'll take the two drop there. Ugh, Cyber Hyena, but we aren't happy about it. Definitely not playing just an 04. Oof, yeah, I guess Nurturing Sentinel. Oh wait, we aren't time. We've been taking so many time cards. Um... Which, which one of these? So we have two of those, two of those. We aren't going to play this. We already have two of the dual faction things that kind of screw with flyers. So another cyber hyena. Ooh. Oof. That's big oof. Okay, displacer we're happy about. 
41. <laughs> okay, another gnashing displacer, sure. Another greater plans. Oh man, that Jotun Spellhammer would be so nice. Or the Ruin Sword. Oh, I, I gotta stick to my guns. I gotta stick to my guns. Take the rare where possible. Frost Pack. So, such a strange card. Already have four of those. Maybe just the Pathfinder here. Hmm. Sprite's been surprisingly rough for me, but we'll, we'll take it. Maybe another Thudrux Ruse. Ooh, an Icy Hold. That's a good hit for us. We're gonna have, like, no units. So I think we just want... And we're just a control deck, right? We're just gonna stun, kill our opponents, use our dirtily creatures to survive long enough to win. So I almost wonder if we just want big, big griffin here. Or the breath to help us survive longer. Hmm. We really do just want to live long enough. That's a tough one. We have a lot of silence. Our removal's kind of expensive. Hmm. Another four cost unit that's not even really that great. And stunning doesn't do a lot unless you're actually trying to attack and win the race, right? Because if we're just trying to play the long game, they just ready after being stunned for a couple turns. So, um, not sure what the correct pick is here. I'm going to go with the Griffin. Uh, definitely not could have been the optimal pick. Disarm, right? I'm just trying to stay alive long enough to win the game through these uh, stronger cards. So we'll take the lower-costed unit here. Gives us some uh, armor. Um, I mean, this doesn't particularly matter. Guess we'll take a eavesdrop. Sure, maybe the Guardian makes it in as just another inscribed guy. Okay. Add power. So, we'll probably play 15 sigils. Because we're, we get to have cards with inscribed, that essentially counts as extra sources of power. So, let's see, right? We, <laughs> we manage 45 with just what we picked. So how much inscribed do we have? So one blue. One justice. Wow. Uh, so that would be 17. So that's a little low. And we're a 50-50 split. So... We'll add Justice back. Oh, we added one, so we need to take out a non-inscribed card here. So, these are all uncuttable. Maybe the combat trick doesn't really do too much for us. I mean, I, wait, I guess the revolver, right? We have 
zero heroes in the deck, so it's just one for plus one, plus one. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, that seems much better. So, this is our deck. Let's hop into some games. Okay. Who? <laughs> Starting off with a strong one, huh? So, one sigil in hand, right? You, you send it back, you move on with your day. Man. Um, they aren't making this easy for us, huh? So, ideally... Man, I would probably keep this if one of these was... Was primal. And we're on the play, so I think we gotta redraw it. I hate to say to say it so this is already looking very bad for us we're on the play we had to redraw minus one card we still don't have both of our sigils so i'm gonna go ahead right away and inscribe it because we're obviously short on sigils so pretty bad for having a 50 50 split right of each of the sigils both all of our hands had only one type of each okay okay well we snuck in for two damage this is really bad um luckily i can kind of chalk this up to luck i mean we're 50 50 split of sigils and we saw three separate hands that only had one source. And now this game, out of four sigils we found, they're all one, only one faction. Um, so, unfortunately, we just have to go ahead. We'll probably block. We get to draw. Really bad for us. Um, the only thing I could have done differently there is wait, waited to see what the card I drew was. Maybe we could have played Gnashing Displacer instead, but that's what we're going to do now and pass. We don't have an attack with the Flyer because he has a 3-3. Three, three. Damn, our opponent's influence has worked out just fine, huh? Jesus. Um, yeah, so we can't block his flyer, so we're going to go ahead and attack. And I guess we just have no choice but to stun something else. Slow him down, hope we can win the race. That goes a long way to him winning the race. So no blocks here. Oof. Okay, um, we aren't blocking with these guys since they're stunning down two of his units, so we're going to attack since he has no blocks. Player flyer, pass. I'm surprised he just didn't use it on one of the sprites. Yeah, this is See, the, the games always give me it at the very end when it's like so late it doesn't matter, but just enough so I can't complain about how late they gave it to me. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see here. So we stun one of them. We have a chump on the sprite there. So yeah, that's really the only option we have. Uh, we aren't remotely close to being able to play that with four justice influence, two damage to each unit in sight. I mean, that doesn't do too much for us, so I guess it's rolling fog here. And then we use this on that, hope we draw something else. <laughs> Another rolling fog. Sure. Yep, block, 
take two. He probably had game. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, <sighs> really bad first game, but not much to say there, right? We didn't get the sigils. We didn't get the sigils to play all of our cards, and we lost. We had to, we had to go down a card, so hopefully we'll get <laughs> a better game next game. Okay, game two, we're 0-1. There is a reasonable hand. Hopefully we can get our second time influence, or Jesus, why I keep on screwing up the, the factions. Uh, second primal influence to be able to cast that. Um, I think we'll still play this, gain the armor, pass. Likely we aren't gonna have a turn two here. Um, that's interesting. I think we gotta play that. We'll attack. We'll see how our draws line up if we end up wanting to... It's kind of looking like we might just want to inscribe it. And 05 isn't doing much isn't doing much right now. Um, that being said, we can almost play anything anyways. Eh, we'll inscribe it. We still have plenty of options for things to do. Like to see that time sigil next. Nice. So we could attack and kill the 2-3. We have no other way to deal with the 2-3. Seems pretty mediocre of a play, though. But it's literally going to keep pecking in at us. giving plus two plus two oh, I can't see the card so we'll get rid of it keep our life total and armor high right we just are just trying to survive to cast our strong cards um, it's a three cost I don't think I'm afraid of anything here so also, we could just duelist blade it out here. That seems pretty good. There's nothing that could have four power, so this will kill that and potentially something else. That seems pretty great. Oh, and it's a sky sweeper. Okay. Definitely, that was a really good curve out for us. We still have five armor on our relic weapon here. If he goes Sigil Hoof Stomp with the Overwhelm, that could really... Oh, this is great. Oh, baby. Four to the face. Play two units. just have storm blast up for whatever he plays wow this is brutal oh no our opponent needs to wow okay well attack for four to the face attack with our boy and next turn our opponent needs something he's got too many expensive things in his hand
Maybe that was worth storm blasting, but... You just need... <laughs> oh my god, brutal, man! <laughs> I guess he was stuck on four with expensive stuff in his hand. Nothing you could really do there, so. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Here. Man. <laughs> not, not, no inscribe units, just one sigil. We're on the draw. We have a lot of cheap things, but I just. You can't. You can't take one sigil hands. There we go. Thankfully, we made it there that time. Well, you would have been nice a little bit earlier. So I'm going to lead off with the Aspirin. We're going to go right into the Sniper just so we can't kill it with um, Warning Shot. No blocks. That certainly did, did the damage. Um, that seems like not the greatest use um eh. I think we just take it uh, life's a resource right maybe now we just silence and stun it To. Now we can just block it. Maybe as a, a, what do you call it, a fast spell, but. Now we could warning shot it. Oof. Big oof for our opponents. Jesus, what are they doing? <laughs> At least I had an excuse for not doing a lot my first game. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, this is just, this is just going to be game here. GG, my friend. Now I just leave up Storm Blast to negate a spell. Icy Hold to kill a unit. Come on, man. That, that's basically Gable. Let's, let's keep it moving here. I'm not even going to hold it up, I'm just going to go for the attack. Uh, and this is why we just take all the rares we see anyways. You can always scrap together a win or two. Okay, game three, we're two and one. Let's see if we can keep racking it up here. Um, We have our the nasty armor plus the blade here, we'll keep it. Uh, honestly, if I didn't, if this was just another primal card, I probably would have shifted it back. Um, actually, let's see, sequencing. We want to just get this guy out right away. I wish we could have locked up more of these guys. I think we only have one, or do we have two? Oof, that is actually a really big pain. So now, using the sigil won't unlock our sniper, so we aren't going to be able to block it. Oof. Okay, that could, uh... Oh, no blocks. Quick draw and deadly, wow. Okay, uh, that's going to be difficult. Let's 
so I guess we're just racing. Hope, hopefully we can go like Primal Sigil into Justice Sigil. Okay, okay. Is this your other units? For each of your units wield wielding a weapon. Um Yeah, I like spreading out the threats a little. So if I put this on her, get another draw, attack for six. the the justice sketch okay that's pretty good um so he's looking to trade his two three for either of my units so i'm happy to keep his board clear right because he's going to be able to keep paying five to double a unit's power so i'm fine if he trades his uh unit for either of mine wow and he doesn't have anything Oh baby, I like that. So we'll play our flyer. We're just going to keep pressing the advantage here. We could leave open disarm, but I don't think it's necessary. Oof. Um. Okay, we don't really have any attacks anymore because that 4-4 four, four. we really needed to hit a sigil there for duelist blade okay um and he can just double that guy's eesh, eesh. Yeah, I decided to contract. I could have left my options open, but I think if he tries to play it more slow, we benefit from getting the armor to play our Duelist Blade here. That would be a strange attack from our opponent. Okay, now we're in a really good spot here. So we're going to use Duelist Blade... Kill the big boy. Um, now, let's see. Attack like this. Get a few trades in, and now. We lost out on two damage, but it forced him to trade. Now if he decides to attack with his unit, it doesn't even matter. Because then we can attack back with uh, our 2-2, two -two, get the infiltrate. There's still plenty our opponent can do here to, to come back, but we, we have a solid grip of cards here, so we just need to play this smart. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's one way to do it. And now it's a 3-5, so we can't even... Okay, we're going to keep pressing the advantage here. So what's better? Playing this, we can attack with a 5-5 five five on the ground, or we have him dead two ways from the flyer, so it forces him to have a flyer. The other option, this if we go with Thudruck's Ruse, 
at the end of his turn, it gives us the option to kill something he plays. So the only way that goes bad is if he plays a ground unit that costs... No, that's still... That still does it. Either plays one big unit, we kill it. If he plays a smaller ground thing, yeah. And actually, we can do both. So we do that. And now we can kill that. Let's go! That was a good win there. Oof. Okay. We're on the draw. We've been really short primal sigils this whole, all of these games. Um, we're on the draw. You just, I can't afford to redraw with the type of hands we've been getting, so. I think we'll keep that since we're already pretty sigil heavy. Uh, or, well, that gives us two primal influence, so... Eh, eh. This will f make us not be able to play Cyber Hyena. I mean, that's fine. I'd rather just the three armor in case we get Duelist Blade again, or just helps us win a damage race. Okay, our opponent has something they can play here. Interesting to note. Okay, that could be bad for us. Okay, so it's just a 5-5 and he gave himself some debt. That's fine. Uh, let's see options here. So we could just attack and hope he just... Hope he blocks and we get to kill it with our card. Um, or we could go just a sigil and just freeze it with ice over. Yeah, that seems great. Yeah. Um, or just play Cyber Hyena as a chumper. That could also just work. Yeah, so let's use this because we really want to, at this point, be able to play Gnashing Displacer on time. And then we'll do Cyber Hyena to be able to block. Watch, now we're just going to draw Sigil after Sigil here. What did our... That was weird. Um, yep, so we'll save 5 health. And we'll get a free draw. Three cost, gain five life, draw a card. I mean, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. And now I get to play Gnashing Displacer. Yeah, that seems, that seemed fine. Oof. That is really bad for our opponent. Okay, our opponent two for one himself just to kill that. Um, okay. So, we can just set up a block with this. I think that's fine. So that'll be five costs total. And just do it on, we could just do it on Cyber Hyena at that point. Okay. Um, we're going to give ourselves three. Oh man, I can't take this back. I can't cancel. 
Okay, uh, yeah, I think we want the Justice Sigil. And then we'll play Cyber Hyena. Attack for two. And now we have the find the moment. Wow, we just got totally demolished. I wonder if I silence it at fast spell speed, if it'll do anything. It'll get rid of the charge, I guess. It still stuns... Um, hello? Charge just... Oh, maybe, maybe it was already attacking. Okay, that, that was really bad play on my part then. Um, damn. I thought we might get punished for playing the Mithril Guardian, but I figured at this point he'd be playing much bigger stuff. I guess that's not really the case here, so... We'll just play a couple more things. Leave everything as blockers. Now this way he can only stun one of my two powered things. Yeah, so let's, um... block like this. That way he'll need to choose what he's gonna save. And we do want to give it the debt. I mean, we basically decimated our board, but we have lots of strong cards we could draw into. Well, we attack with both, because Shield Bearer gives it the buff. What's this thing? It's like pay, yeah, pay ginormous amount, sacrifice it. Okay. Oof. Oof. Um, let's see here. We frost pack, frost pack sprite, stunning the 2-4, attack with both. He might not even block. He goes to 3, he kills the sprite. Still doesn't really have an attack. Get rid of that damn sword. Probably doesn't even block here. Yep, goes down to two. No choice here. I guess we just offer prize fighter up to the sword. Really? Okay, attack with both. This way he kills prize fighter, draw a card. Okay, so we need to leave him so he doesn't attack with it. Damn, our opponent's probably caught up enough. They still got two cards in hand. They actually have units on the board. Probably just ruse to kill the 2-4. Because that guy will eventually just kill us, giving something plus three, plus three, and flying. Nice. Okay, we got 
a blocker for that. We're dead to just any removal and combat trick here, though. Quick draw lifesteal. I'm not sure why he used it. Oh, wow. Is that the card he got off? Oh, wait, I meant to... I meant to click the unit as that's what it deals 5 to. Okay, I don't think we were winning that one anyways. Essentially, our opponent just had stronger cards throughout the whole game. And we were, like, this close to being able to stabilize, but we flooded out just enough, right? Like, we were getting really close, clawing, bla clawing back in there, but we had a couple key turns where he kept on drawing sigils where we just needed to hit some of the beef of our deck, and we didn't get there. It happens. Um, we shall keep pretty, pretty weak hand here, but... We got both of our factions, we're on the draw. Right now we are three and two. I really want to get four wins. If we're stuck at three wins. But let's let's see if we can get there. So I know this isn't efficient, um, but uh, it's kind of efficient, I guess. We can't really chain them together, come to think about it. That'll just cancel out the one. Stealth unit. Oh, okay. That could be interesting. Infiltrate draw a card. That's actually kind of annoying. I guess Cyber Hyena can just block it. Oh, God. So, so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> but at least that trades with something and it draws us a card. Oh my god. Sure. Rather than wait for him to find a two-powered thing that this could even block. Okay, how do we want to approach this? I think we we do want the second primal. But stunning just this 2-2 two -two flyer seems pretty mediocre. But how are we going to beat two 2-2 two -two flyers? Snore. Dude, kid. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, how do we beat two of them? Although he could just stun it, and that would save us time. Yeah, we'll just do that. Just need to survive to the strong part of our deck. <laughs> it's tough. The difference between three and four wins is like a big, a big drop off. So, hoping we be able to manage this. <laughs> okay, our own. Um, do I plan on blocking with the 1-1 flyer? No. Okay, play that. Pass.
that's a problem. Um, I think we're going to take six here. And then we can frost pack sprite it. This doesn't force the block on the 2-2, but then we have no way of dealing with his 2-2. Two -two. Hmm. Versus... This is a tough one. You should have attacked with the one one. There's no way I would double block here. Because then we just have no way of dealing with the... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I mean, the, our rare Huru Sentry, there, there are ways, there are ways, but let's see, we, we aren't going to double block, so I need to attack with this guy, that's really it. We have plenty of cards we could draw into. one of them. Play that. I mean, we just run out our hand, right? And just hope to get there. Maybe if our opponent floods out a bit and we get some of our strong draws. Kuru Sentry, man, that... That right there just solves this. I mean, I guess we could double block one of them now at this point, but... Come on, Huru Sentry off the top. Let's go, let's go. The Silence, Stun, and Invoke card, Icy Hold. Oh my god, we're losing to these stupid weapons. That was exactly what I asked for. Okay, I think we can do this now. Um, so we attack with both. Play him. Take the debt to kill the 2-2. And it had Overwhelm. Okay, 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 okay. And our opponent's top decking, so they're unlikely to just rip removal for a 4-3 flyer. Okay, did we do it here? And we have infinite chump blockers here. Okay, yep, yeah, so we'll block here. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, we're one away. Okay, that's fine. So we attack like this, and then we still have two blocks. Oh man, gaining two life there. Okay, nice. Our opponent had just enough junky cards for us to be able to scrap through this one, it looks like. Um, let's see, if we just outright kill the 2-3, attack with everything, he has one block on one of the two powered things, he takes four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, game. Oh, baby.
Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the fourth win. Like I said, that is all I... I'm content with that. Any Anything else, they were in Gravy Town. That was a really good comeback. And now we're left with this, so we're on the draw here. And once again, if just one of these was a, a pri uh, yeah, primal sigil, or justice sigil, what is going on with me? Let's just get lucky, <laughs> right? Like I said, any anything else is gravy here. Uh, I would have preferred, eh, not necessarily, to take the last one. Okay, justice sigil. He milled. He milled one of our sigils here, so. Come on, he literally drew us two cards closer to getting a Justice Sigil. We have a 50-50 split. We're already 10 cards into our deck. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god, not like this. We even have 18 sources of power influence with the two inscribed cards. Brutal. Yeah, this is... Okay, well... That's, uh, that's how it goes. Okay, so we did get that. Um, oh wow, just bring down, straight up kills it, and saves us. That saves us the most damage. And we still have power left over for this. Hell yeah. Okay, come on, let's go. Justice sigil and a justice sigil into any sigil, and I'll be happy. Okay, okay. Wow, so you're telling me there's hope. Um, do I want to attack and trade with this 2 1? Sure. <laughs> he used Thudrux Ruse to just kill a 2 1? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm all about this. I'm all about this. Come on, use your last. So one of his. So he has a fast spell of some sort in his hands. Okay. Wow. We went from not a chance, and we get to draw a card. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Wow. We went from no chance of winning to we are very likely to win oh man but okay that that's pretty brutal not being able to play the duelist sword while we still have all of this but that's fine um i think we'll actually just overthrow it although knowing we have the duelist sword we can just icy hold it long enough next turn then duelist blade yeah because overthrow can kill anything big of his oh wow that's just stupid um actually we're just gonna go with emerald Maw. <laughs> yes we want to save as much armor as we can Although, he'll attack back for six. Okay, how can we set this up? Maybe we do just not be greedy. We'll still get like a giant, what, we'll get an 8-8 eight eight with this? Because we're going to have 13 minus six, a 7-7. Seven seven. What's he going to do about a 7-7? Seven seven? Thank you. 
Although this just gets to kill that guy, and then we get to eat. Uh, it's probably just Duelist Blade, though. We just get to eat two of his units. Nope, so he has a fast spell in hand of some sort. It's fine. <laughs> oh, legendary relic weapon. <laughs> And we have Aegis, so we can't even, like, kill it in some way. So now we just want to leave Stormblast up, just in case he has some way to kill it. So we'll play Prize Fighter. If he has, like, a Vanquish or... Yes! Let's go! <laughs> let's go! Five wins, baby! That means, so five wins is where you just break even based on your rewards. So right there, that nets us, I think, 5,000, maybe 5,500 gold. It costs 5,000 to join the draft. So right there, entrance covered, and we get two additional rares, plus all the cards we drafted. So, okay. Damn, apparently we've been winning so hard, we're barely bronze and we are up against a, a gold tier player <laughs> that does not bode well for us basically the duelist blade the relic weapon that gives us aegis absolute home run for us every time especially compared to or er, not compared paired with uh, Kasul Envoy here, giving us more armor. Okay, we can trade with that, no problem. I'm gonna save Rolling Fog. We don't have much to do, so I would rather have my card have as big of an impact as it can. <laughs> yeah, a 3 4 is very different than a 2 3. Um. So what could it be here? It could be the 4-2. Could be the 3-1 would have revealed itself. It could be a, the 2-3. Um, what? All the fire ones reveal themselves, right? Um, I don't know what it is, so we're going to take, okay. Okay, pretty rough. For some, I could not think of that card, and I know Shockwave Elemental very well, so. Okay, attack with our flyer in the air here. Oh, damn, if he has removal for it. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll just buff it. And we won't give it more because he only did the three nice we traded card for card and we get the infiltrate we'll play cyber hyena so we have a blocker man that card's annoying there's like nothing you can do about it I guess we block with Cyber Hyena. I guess we also kind of just want it to die. Yeah, we'll do it this way. That way if he does plan on blocking, you know, man, we're, we're flooding out pretty bad here. We went from the just survive plan to <laughs> we need to win this race because we're flooding out. Oh, please don't have. Okay, well, that worked out. 
Okay, come on, Huru Sentry. Yeah, that's, I hate to say it, but that's probably just gonna be game here. Any sigil right is just total blank. Trade Rolling Fog for three damage, probably. Actually, why don't we take it? And if he doesn't have any follow up plays here, oh, actually, we're just big dead. Okay, it doesn't really do anything for us. Um, it does let us trade with that stupid thing, so I guess we'll do that. And we just gotta pass. Come on, lots of strong cards we can draw into here. Oh, wow. Normally that card's really bad, but uh, it worked out for him this time. In like an extremely aggressive deck, I guess it can turn out, but hey, I can't be mad about that. We got five wins, still rare drafting, right? We didn't pass one rare, so let's go ahead and claim it. This is the best part right here. Okay, rare number one, 5,500 gold, so even plus 500, rare number two. Ooh, what the hell, pay one and exhaust. That's really good, okay. And this gives you a little scorpion that can just kill something. And it has revenge, yeah, okay. Hey, two, two decent rares, we plus 500 gold. I'm ecstatic. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this cold hunt draft, and I hope I'll catch you on the channel for more draft content. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.